Okay. Hi, my name is Samantha White. We have been members of UDLC for the last year and a half. This is my husband. I'm Aaron White, and we also have two kids that are that come to the services as well. Gracie is five, and Henry is three, and my parents, Ira and Cynthia, are members of the congregation too. We found UDLC when we were new to the area. We had visited several churches, and we were looking for a place that was family-friendly. It was really important that our kids were embraced and welcomed, but we were also looking for a place that open that was open to uh, exploration along the journey. Um, yeah. I think one of the biggest things was really a safe place for our, our kids to learn about uh, God and for us to learn about God and how that um, how that could help our relationship. We were looking for a place that we could settle. Uh, down and take a moment of rest and be a be a family that gathered together but we really wanted a place where people were open uh, minded where it there was a sense of of that we felt like we belonged and everyone was genuinely kind I, that was a really important piece for us I was actually raised Catholic my dad is Jewish and it was important that we were brought to a place to explore spirituality and to be in fellowship with others that was open and welcoming to everybody and allow that exploration without judgment. I think that there was a moment a few months ago when we were deciding to join the congregation where Pastor Keith was welcoming everyone to communion. And he, of course, always says that this is Jesus's table and everyone has a place at Jesus's table. But he went on to just list all the different kinds of people, and which is not something he normally does. You know, people of different faith traditions. He listed all these faith traditions and it, it just felt like the whole room leapt forward to receive, to receive this blessing. And, um, it, it was a moment where I knew that this was a place where all were really welcome and wanted, and it was safe for our kids. I feel like we were welcomed with open, open arms, genuine smiles. I never felt pressured um, to become a member of the church. Everything was, we were able to take things at our own pace, and that felt better and more comfortable than many of the other places that we had tried visiting. Um, and that helped us want to become more involved because we just felt like we were being embraced and just like the space was held for us and we could take from it what we, what we wanted. Now that we ha have officially become members at UDLC, our home and our rhythm of our life has this beautiful uh, flow to it. It's also given us the ability to open up a language about God and our connection to, to spirit and our, and our values as a family. Um, each week we can use the sermon as a guide and we can, we can use that with our kids in prayer and it's been it's been something that's brought a wholeness to us and what i love most is my daughter's ability because she's she's five my son is three so my daughter is leaning more on what she's learning here and what she's learning through godly play what she's learning from her friends and there is a piece that comes with that that i'm really grateful for her we're very busy. We have an extremely busy schedule with kids, and I'm sure many other parents under, can relate to that. And so being able to take a moment of rest to be self-reflective and do that as a family in a very safe space is important. And it's interesting to see how that's helped us just kind of recenter for the, for the week. I think what I what I appreciate most about the ministry of our church is the is the open arms, the open hearts, the open minds that people have and the gentle welcome into into our into our church. There was there has never been pressure, there has never been too much of a push from anybody to believe in something or change their ideals. Uh, it's just a very welcome 
and full energy. And that has given me the space to be so honest with others. And I also appreciate being in community with people across across the lifespan, across ages and to and family dynamic, family makeups. Um, it's it's a really special thing to come to a place that matches your values and be able to be yourself and look for advice and look for guidance. And as a young mom, when some when this time can often feel very isolating and very confusing. It's really nice to know that each week I come to this place, I let out a breath of relief, and I get to be with other families. I let my children be, I know my children are safe and welcome, and I know that I can lean on other people that have been there or are going through the same thing. What I appreciate most about this ministry is the fact that the, or, the whole organization is just surrounded with good intentions and good people that just want to help the world around them, that just want to spread kindness and goodness in the world. And that's what, that's what we feel like we are a part of. And it's very hard to find a space like that in, in this crazy world with all these things happening and who knows what's happening, going on. And just to be surrounded by other people that are that are just want to help the community and just all in kindness and goodness um, is just really special. My hope for our church is to see our children's ministries grow. I think that the programs are exceptional the way that they are, and I want everyone to know about them. <laughs> I want to like be a person and be a family and be an example of just opening the door like we had uh, for our family to others to join us and be with us. The, the Godly Play is a beautiful introduction uh, into, into a faith tradition, hopefully a Lutheran tradition, but also any, any denomination of faith. And um, I think it has given our children so much. And I love our music program. I want to see that expand. And I love all of the other ways that we gather. So I hope I hope we can we can be a part of that, helping helping bring more young families in. We can be such a positive effect on the world. And I'd love to see more um, families and also young people coming in and, and just experiencing a sense of like uh, uh, spiritual love. And I think that is important um, uh, piece for young people as they're trying to figure out who they are, what what they are experiencing, how they belong in the world, and how they can help the world. I think that this church it provides a perfect place for young people to just be able to be just you know just held in goodness and kindness to do that. We we have loved learning about the capital campaign, even as new members of the church, and learning about all of the facilities here, and and the improvements that are coming. It's it's interesting because as we've talked about the capital campaign it, it, and, a, and a young family starting out, we don't have a lot of fiscal giving power. Um, and what I what I think is important to remember is that even a small a small gift to this campaign, a small contribution, makes such a big difference in all of our programs. It also develops a habit of the heart to create this relationship with our church as we grow in our family and our financial wellness hopefully flourishes more. We'll be able to give more, but every piece and every contribution has a, has a big impact. 